United USA. Well, the housing crash is on its way. Here we go tumbling down the money rabbit hole and you can't even find an apartment that's affordable. Specifically right now. Let me show y'all how hard it is to find an apartment right here. Whether you got the money or the credit to do so, let me show you what the prices look like here in Mesa, Tempe, Phoenix, Arizona, how ridiculous and outrageous the prices are. If you happen to be one of the sorry son of a bitches like me who has to move right now and can't even find a place that you can get approved. And the places you can are not places you want to live. Check this out. All right, yeah, forget the music. All right, so $1,505, $1,400, $1,495. Okay, this, this, is, this is just like one bedrooms, okay? We're, <laughs> we're talking one bedrooms and two bedrooms. Look at this, keep going right here. What do we got? Uh, $1,795, uh, $2,304, but it's newly renovated. It's got new appliances, a kitchen but they want $2,300. Oh, don't forget the tax. What do we got here? A thousand square foot for a uh, two bed. All right, $1,773, $1,800. You basically after taxes, you're gonna be at $2,000 almost. Okay, what do we got? $1,665 for a two bedroom. What's this? One bedroom, $2,090. That's luxury living. Wow, that's beautiful, but yeah, no. Regular, regular middle class spot, 965 square, uh, 965 square feet, fuck for Christ's sake, $1,650 for the two bedroom. Another one, three bedroom, right, forget that, it's $2,900 practically for it, that, yeah, that doesn't apply to me, but look, look at the, I mean, the price, it's ridiculous, they're showing the lobby of the apartment complex to be like, this place is fancy, that's why we're going to charge you $3,000 a month for your three bedroom. Look at this one right here, $1,299, one bedroom. One bedroom, $1,300, only 600 square feet in F North Phoenix? Dude, now you all that don't know about North Phoenix, there's good and bad places in every town. You don't want to live up there. There are nice places, but that's not where I want to be. It's not where you want to be. Oh, look at this one. Oh, credit concern? Be concerned no more. $9.95 for a one bedroom, North Phoenix. That is probably a nice renovated place where it's nice on the inside. Outside, you're going to be worrying about your house getting broken into and your car getting stolen every night. Uh, here's, oh, free utilities, first month half price, $1,000 on a two-bed note. Yeah, yeah, that's whatever. That's, trust me, there's other fees on top of that. None, none of these are $1,000 a month. Uh, two seventy four dollars one bedroom? No, that's, no, there's a catch there. Trust me, that's a lie. Believe me, after you've called about 10, 20, 30, 50, 100 of these, you called 100 of these people, trust me, you understand. Check this out right here, 1695, two bedroom, 1400 for the two bedroom, minimum. Most of them for the two bedroom, 1600 to 1800, 1850 for the two bedroom at 962 square. I'm at 960 square feet where I'm at right now, I'm paying 1185, $1,200. And everywhere I go, I'm seeing a, a minimum $200 to $400 to $600 increase on top of your typical one and two bedroom apartments. It's absolutely ridiculous. You keep scrolling, keep scrolling, keep scrolling, and you just see like the same type of things where it's just like, hey, $1,500, $1,800, $1,800, $1,500, $1, home sweet crap home, all right. So it's just a prime example right now. Anyone who's looking for an apartment, I understand, I feel your pain. All I would say is keep plugging away at it, do the best you can, get all your paperwork so you have your income, proof of income, and the places that won't work with you, just consider all options. No one wants to rent a room, but if you have to, that's where I'm at right now. I don't wanna rent a room from somebody and put my stuff in a storage. If I do, I'm gonna have to pay 150, 190, $200 a month. 150 to $200 a month just to put my stuff in storage on top of whatever rent I'm paying, $800, $900, $1,000 for a room, $1,200, $1,500 unless I move into a one or two bedroom. Minimum. Absolutely unbelievable. I mean, for Christ's sake, I might as well move back to LA or New York. 
It's ridiculous. Oh my goodness, Lord help me. Yeah, I'm surprised the economy hasn't crashed, but I'm sure in the next year or two, it's, yeah, it's coming pretty quick. Hope you like um, that uh, <laughs> meme right there, waiting for the housing market to crash, like, uh, yeah, well, it's, uh, it's, it's long overdue. Um, the bubble right now is so inflated, it's ridiculous. And um, if you understand what I'm saying and you're struggling to find a place you understand in general, please like and share this video.